yesterday I got to go up to Glasgow to see my colleagues in the um, Roots Scottish office and uh, the mission yesterday was to calibrate one of these Sony uh, VPL VW320ES projectors uh, for Rec 709 for a, for a, a viewing theatre stroke grading room at the University of Edinburgh in their art and design department and uh, this, I mean, it looks like a domestic projector. It is a £6,000 domestic projector, but it's a 4K native panel. It uses this Sony SXRD technology, which, as far as I can tell, and there's not a lot of information available, is a um, is three um, LCD images um, in parallel with each other. Uh, so they must be, I'm thinking, uh, CMY rather than RGB. So it must be so magenta and yellow because it's, it's a subtractive process from what I can tell. It's a mercury um, light so different to sort of DLP or traditional LCD type projector, but um, pictures look great. I was able to color balance this thing very quickly to Rec 709 sort of standards, but I also set uh, my probe doing a um, a full profile of it using uh, Lightspace CMS, my favourite color management tool. And so I've got the I've got the profile stored here called, called it Edinburgh, uh, um, made yesterday. And I wasn't able to do a full 17 or 21 point light. This is just a 10 point light, so 10 by 10 by 10 on the RGB axes, giving a thousand reads, which takes up about 22 minutes using Lightspace and my Klein K10 probe, which is widely recognised as one of the the fastest um, sort of high quality probes. Um, so I'm con I'm, I'm going to I'm going to build a LUT to convert uh, the, the the profile I took from the projector into Rec 709. And just see how well it does. So, so there we go. Uh, those two things are into there. If I create new, create a new color space, and uh, Lightspace will tell me how well the profile is able to fit into Rec 709 um, when it eventually finishes. Come on. Taking its time. 100% within target gamma. So that's good news. So if I now go and view. Um, uh, the, the difference as a 3D cube. So this would be the LUT that we'd make if we were going to build a LUT for it. And and you know it's kind of what you'd want really. All the Rec 709 dots are contained within the overall gamut of the projector, except you've got this very weird thing going off in the yellow area. Um, some of these yellow colours reaching right out to the edge of what the projector can do, which undoubtedly is just down to some of the digital image processing contained within the projector. Um, for that, 